Okay, now I have not yet discovered every part of this tower. So the dungeons, for example, that's somewhere I have not yet been. So I'll be going to the Oxyray dungeons very shortly. Yeah, and I also forgot about the strange room to the right of this tower. So that's where I'm headed to now. Yeah, so this quest which is about to begin is called the Runda Secret. Yeah, and by the way, I've got enough pieces of void steel, so at least three of them in order to make the key. So we need the key in order to get inside of the void. So I'll be crafting the key at some point in this video. Okay, this is going to be a bit of a challenge to open. Yeah, so I won't be able to go into the void in this video, but very soon I will. Possibly in the next or the video after. Yeah, so as you can see, this is quite a small room, but yeah, there's also a key in here and that is part of the quest. We need to find a lock for the key. Yeah, so there's more than three pieces of void steel but we only need three to make the key. So it's good how there's not exactly three in this mod, otherwise it would have been a lot more difficult to complete. Yeah, so this key which I've just picked up, we need to find a lock for it. Now luckily there's a marker pointing towards where we need to find the lock. Yeah, so we know where to go, but first I'm going to see if I can get to these dungeons and explore them. Who knows, there might be another piece of void steel inside. Yeah, but the good thing is, I've already got enough to make the Void Steel Key. Yeah, so I remember seeing a lever on the upper floor, so that might be where it takes me to the dungeons. Yeah, this must be it here.
Okay, now there may be some enemies in here. We'll have to wait and see. Yeah, looks like there was another piece of void steel, so I think that's five we've got right now. And that might not be all of the pieces we've picked up, there might be even more lying around that we have missed. I wonder if prisoners were held down here. Yeah, just there's quite a few cells. Thing is though, they seem empty. Okay, yes, it looks like they were holding a prisoner here. Yeah, it seems pretty abandoned now though. Yeah, so the dungeons were actually quite small. Anyway, let's head back to Riften. Yeah, so that's where I'm going to make the key. And then I'll see what that key does. Well, unlocks. Yeah, so I'm assuming I'll just be able to make this key at a blacksmith forge. Yeah, so because I've got spare void steel, I'm assuming I could just sell the spare which I've got, so I think I've got five with me right now, but I only need three, so the remaining two I could just sell. And to be honest, I don't think they're worth that much anyway. Come to see Balaman for... Yeah, it must be in the miscellaneous. Anything you need? Yeah, so we now have the key. 
So we should be able to get inside of the void. But I'll be doing that later. I'm going to see what this evacuee does. Okay, looks like she's gone for now. Yeah, I'll have to tell her about the void key though. Yeah, it appears that she has stayed at Riften, so yeah, I'll have to go back for her. I'm not in the mood for fighting dragons. I just want to see what this key unlocks. Yeah, there seems to be quite a large Duema building up ahead. Yeah, so it must just unlock the entrance to this. Alright, it's got like the settlement icon. So this is Runda Estate. Yeah, let's head inside. Good day, sir. Welcome to Runa Estate. I am your major domo, specially designed to take care of daily occurrences and to keep the estate clean and tidy. That is correct. I am at your service. The estate is a masterpiece of Dwemer architecture. It contains a kitchen, a dining room, a dormitory, and a laboratory for both alchemy and also magical experiments. Its constructor, the dwarven magician Runa, built the estate to escape the dark and oppressive underground dwarven cities. Here, he studied nature, magic, and alchemy while being far away from all the corruption and swindling of the Dwemer civilization. The estate is not only designed as a living space, but also as a fortress that keeps the hostile creatures at bay. Back in the old days, there were multiple spheres and centurions defending it, but I am afraid by now, I am the only one left. And all the machines were programmed to serve the one who holds the key to the estate. Okay, so I'm the one who has the key, so I guess that must mean that this estate is my home. 
Yeah, so I'll have a quick look around before returning to Riften. That's if she's still there. Just I forgot to tell her that I have made the void key. Yeah, so that means I'll be able to access the portal now. Yeah, so this is quite a nice home actually. However, I've got plenty of houses already in Skyrim. I mean, in certain holds you can buy your own home. And even with the Heartfire DLC, you can build your own home in three different regions. So, I mean, I've got Bree's home in Whiterun. I've got that house which I built in the Falk Reef region. And I've got Project AHO, which is also my home, and I've also got this. Yeah, another piece of void steel as well, so that's the sixth piece which I found. Okay, there's quite a few spell tomes here. Yeah, I may as well take those, just it saves me from having to buy them later on. Yeah, so there's quite a few which I have not yet learned as well. Yeah, so I'll have to read about them just to learn their skill. Okay, that's quite a long way down, but yeah, I'll just fast travel to Riften. But yeah, it looks like she has left, so I wonder if she's headed back to the Arxiria Tower. Yeah, I could always meet her there and then tell her about the Void Key. Yeah, but anyway, I'm going to end it here so I hope you've enjoyed and thank you for watching.